Welcome to Every Way Woman. So let's start with a little open dialogue. Should women who are the boss at work allow their men to be the boss at home? Huh. Well, sounds like you've been in my house. <laughs> okay. I, and I only say that because when, when I first got married, I struggled with this because I was a manager, a boss, and I had a lot of people. And then I came home and I started bossing my husband around. And I was just really, Urgh. and one day he told me, he said, you need to have a seat. He said, what you do over at the city of blah, blah, blah is there. But when you walk in this house, I'm the head of this house. Now, I know that's a <laughs> for a lot of people, but he got my attention. Turn it off. You don't run anything up in here. We run it okay, together. So for I'm you, like, you just step back and you let your man be the man of the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. Yes. you like that? Yes, he is the man of the house. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I mean, I like a more traditional role. But <laughs> if if I were at work every day and I was the boss and I was ha constantly having to stress out on stress mm -hmm. levels are high when you're making decisions. Right. So if I came home and my man was like, "Hi, honey, here's your dinner. I got laundry done. All the clothes are put away, and we're gonna go upstairs and make magic in 30." I'd be like, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> so if 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 I had the time and the energy, which we don't, we don't have the time and the energy to do all of those things. And if he has the time and the energy, if he's the one at, that's at home and needs to be in charge, then heck yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, you it's know, a, iron right. And then do what it's you a do. partnership. Well, you know what I find really interesting though is I think a lot of women um, let their men think they're the man of the house. Kind of the, <laughs> the woman is the neck that turns the head. That is correct. If you will. That is correct. Mm -hmm. We are the neck that turns the head. Uh, a it's neck a has no art. purpose without a head, and a head has no purpose without a neck. So you work in tandem. Mm -hmm. But I think what happens is, is women sometimes, and I know we're going to get emails and texts, so I'm sorry right now. <laughs> we want chivalry, but then we want to wear the pants. Pick a mood. Yeah. Balance it, right? Ba balance it. You can't be telling them, oh, baby, do this for me, do this way, and then I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> I it doesn't work that way. And women, I let's not fool ourselves. <laughs> let's stop fooling ourselves. We're partnership. Mm -hmm. How do you see it? How do you see your yeah. household? Because <laughs> I've really uh, well, tripped you we, up with we, that. And we know that you you have your eyes on having a career. Yes. I, I have to, Well, OK, again, I want the best of both worlds. Yes, I you am do. that classic. Oh. I want it all. I do want the career. I do want to be the boss <laughs> at work. And it is nice to be able to, I would assume, come home and let somebody else make mm -hmm. some of those decisions. But, what, but I can't imagine I would be able to turn it off hey, and then just let somebody else step well, in. Let me add to that a little bit. Yes. Now, you're out there dating right now, and you're yes. looking for men who have jobs, who are successful. Who are stable. They're in progressive sure. careers where sure. they are. So what do you? how do you see it if you're the boss and you're doing this and this and this, and he's the boss and he's doing this and this, and then he also wants to come home and take charge of the house? I think you can let him take charge of the house <laughs> Monday through Friday, right? <laughs> and then girlfriend takes charge on Saturday and Sunday and me, let him okay. have a little break and you can step in. I mean, can't you just share that was, I think mm -hmm. I left the wrong picture with you because I'm not saying that you just stop at the door and you become home and you you come home and you're docile. That's not what I'm saying. So I'm an executive. You don't surrender. Well, here's like, no, I, I, I'm, do I'm a manager at work and I'm executive. I make very high powered decisions, but in my home, I'm, I'm, he and I work together. I just don't come home and say, this is what we're going to do. I will say that where I work. I don't have a time sometime to, this is what we're going to do. But I don't bring that same spirit and same energy in my home. It's counterproductive. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that's helped the success of your marriage? Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. I was speaking with a woman. She's about 45 years old, and she had just got out of relationships, starting mm -hmm. to date again. And what she had said is, you know, I have, why can't I find a man who wants to take care of me? Um, and, but I, she wants to be this strong, independent person. And then she said, is, and she juxtaposed that with, I know women who are very successful. They date men that are very successful. But I'm not, but her, she like serves her man. She goes to the buffet line or whatever, the event, and puts his plate together mm -hmm. and makes sure he has his drink and has all that. And she's well, like, what's wrong with that? Well, but see, her point of view was, is I, I don't, I'm a strong, independent person and I don't need to do that. And, but yet here she is. She's and and she can't find a that, man. And Jaslyn, to you, that is the key. I can give you the secret about keep staying I married. I am listening. Mm -hmm. Men Stacey. want, my husband tells me, all his friends, men want three things. They want to know that they are valued in their home, mm -hmm. that they want peace. 
They want peace at all costs. And that they want to know that you have their backs as their wife. If yeah. you do that, you'll have their purse, you'll have their wallet. Right, There's right, yeah. nothing that they won't do for you <laughs> and I, with those three secrets. I think you're right, Cece, because that's what she was missing. I think right. she was missing that, why do I have to serve him if I'm successful? He should serve me. That's right. Well, Aren't I'm, you supposed to serve each other like I do to you as you do to ask, me? Well, it's it's well, what it's works in your me. home. It's what <laughs> works in your home. My husband rubs my feet. I rub his head. My husband likes hot dogs. He doesn't want to wipe the necessary slaves over a stove. He wants me to talk to him. My friend's mm -hmm. husband, she has to have her food on the table. It's what works in your home. But as long as a man, and, and you give him some. Yeah. So, <laughs> right? You give him some, he has peace. He's you know, got he's food. Down, you will have a happy man. I'm telling you. Listen to me, ladies. <laughs> Any words of the wise from Madison? <laughs> I have to ditto. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, I think I have a lot to learn from the two of you because I don't know what my household's going to look like in the future, but I'm hoping it's a peaceful, happy. And give them some. And give them some. <laughs> we'll see you next.